Hey YouTube, in this video I am trying to get back into doing my um, makeup baskets of the week. My sister asked me kind of why I stopped doing them and I have no idea why I stopped doing them but I am going to start back. Um, I totally stole an idea from Malibu Dollface. He keeps all of the makeup that he is using in a little Barbie lunchbox. So I thought that was an excellent idea because it's small. You can sort of carry it around with you. And I have a, not Barbie, but I have the cutest little um, Hello Kitty sort of leopard print lunchbox. So this is where all of my um, makeup for this week is. And I don't care what y'all say. I like that idea. So I stole it. And I am totally giving him credit for it. Malibu Dollface on YouTube. If you want to check him out. He is extremely funny. Anyway. I will get into what I am using this week. And it will be very random. Because things I just kind of thrown in here. And I don't want to waste a lot of your time. Trying to separate it. But I am going to be using. My um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Catwalk Palette. And it looks like that. She just dropped the brush. It looks like that on the inside. And let's put that brush back. I am also going to be using um, the Sleek I Divine Garden of Eden palette. This is just the box that it comes in. I'll show you the palette. Of course, we know what Sleek packaging looks like. This is what the inside of the palette looks like. Okay, so that is the um, Garden of Eden palette from Sleek. Um, I am going to be using foundation wise my Laura Geller Balance in Brighten in Deep. And that looks like this. I have shown this several times in the few weeks that I have had it, but it looks like that. Um, for eye primer, I am going to be using the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. And it looks like this. I have just like a couple of my little Laura Geller lip do lip pencils. So I do plan to use these this week. Um, just as a luminizer, I'm going to use the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. I'll show you what this looks like real quick. I didn't want to waste a lot of time, but you can't really tell what this looks like just looking at it in the tube. But it just sort of gives a slight glow to my skin if you can see it. Um, I have a couple of MAC blushes. I have Stubborn, which looks like this. And I have Love Joy, which I have on my cheeks today. I like it because it pretty much comes up just, just a glow and not so much color. And it looks like that. Um... I have another, and I am still giving this a try. This is the um, Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in chocolate. And I am I actually put it on my eyes today. I feel so much better about using it. And thank everybody who gave me great comments about that video. That video was a little whack to me. But this is what it looks like. And I have done a better job of... Um, focus there we go of not dipping my brush so harshly into it just tapping it lightly into it and not getting so much product on the brush and that has helped a lot uh, concealer I am going to be using my um, bare minerals correcting concealer in dark too there we go um as a face sort of finishing powder did i close this yeah i am going to be using my bare minerals mineral veil and this is the five in one bb advanced performance mineral veil 
I also want to show it to you like this. My camera is struggling to focus on it. There it is. And also something I just picked up from um, Sephora because I had my 15% off. I'm going to be using this week and I have been dying to get this. It's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and this is in the color Radiant Light. And I will show you what it looks like on the inside. Come on. There we go. That is what it looks like on the inside. And I put it on today. And it is very, very subtle. But it gives you a like a nice little... I don't want to call it an airbrush. But it gives me a nice little glow. Um, I have a sample of the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Foundation. And it is in the color 84 Cocoa Medium, which that is what they matched to me at Sephora. I used it once last week, but I want to use it one more time. I felt like it was a little bit red on me, but I'm going to try it one more time. I have in here a MAC Paint Pot in the color Camel Coat. So that is that, and it looks like this on the inside come on camera there we go so that is what it looks like and all of my stuff is outside of the thing now let me um sort of make some room here I have a and I'll show you this real quick a be a bombshell um, eyeshadow in the color Bora Bora, which did not come in my Ipsy bag. I actually purchased this one using the um, Ipsy discount because I got a NYX um, eyeshadow instead of this one, and I really like this one, so I purchased this one. And it's in the color Bora Bora. If I didn't say that, I think I did. Um, I am also going to be using. This as an eye primer again. This is the Bare Minerals 5 in 1 BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow. You won't see that. I don't feel like and it's in the color blush and apricot. I don't feel like waiting for that one to um focus. I am going to be using two of the Tarte. Um, sort of smoky eyeshadow sticks and they look like this one is in bronze and one is in taupe the one at the top is bronze and the one at the bottom is taupe there they go and I'll pull the tops off of them so you can see them and they are sort of sort of twist up um, jumbo pencil type products there you go and I like these a lot, especially when I don't want to um, really be bothered putting eyeshadow on. But I don't want to look so plain. Um, I am going to be using my IT Cosmetics CC Plus Lip Gloss. Well, CC Plus Lip Serum um, Lip Gloss. And this is in the color Love. There we go. It bit it doesn't really have a design on it but that's it it's in the color love and I've shown that before and I am going to be using a bare minerals flawless definition flawless definition flawless definition <laughs> waterproof mascara and it's just in the color black there we go um, I have a Laura Geller blush here, and I have shown this before. It is the Baked Heart Blush and Highlighter in Pink Valentine. There we go. And I will show you what it looks like. Once again, it looks like that. There we go. Um... I have a wet and wet blush here. Sorry, everything is collapsing inside the container. And it is in the color Heather Silk. And it looks like this. And 
another brow product that I have is the e.l.f. eyebrow kit and it is in the color medium there you go a few more items and I will be done I have a L'Oreal Paris um, color reach eyeshadow quad and it's in the color perfume ID and it looks like this and then the last thing are two items that I have been wanting and finally picked up and I had um, already two colors of these but I picked up two new colors and these are the um, Maybelline color elixirs yeah the elixirs and I picked up two new colors well new to me I picked up Raspberry Rhapsody which is this one here hope you can see that and I picked up um, the color blush essence which is this color here and I hope you can see that and that my friends I believe is it that is my makeup basket for this week I am going to try to keep this up because People keep asking me for it and it keeps me organized and then I notice how disorganized I am if I don't do it um, thank you all for watching I did want to say one more thing I am actually going to be doing the race for the cure which is Susan G Coleman okay I hope that my camera doesn't cut off again but I am going to be doing the Susan G Coleman race for the cure on Mother's Day weekend it's actually Saturday May the 10th and I am just coming on asking you all if possible that you could donate um, some money to the cause nothing will go to me it will go directly to them there is a I have a um, a web page on their website um, where you can donate the money um, I will leave a link in the description box this is a really long URL but it'll take you directly to my page where you can go and um, donate if you want, I am almost begging, please. This is such a worthy cause. This is for breast cancer, which is something that is very near and dear to my heart. Not that anything, anybody in my family, anybody close to me has had breast cancer. But um, this affects all women, all economic backgrounds, all ethnicities, races, everything. So... Thank you all in advance if you do decide to donate and thank you all for watching. Have a good day. Bye.